Welcome to another paint along with Bob here. Um, this canvas is a different approach this time. I started with a black gesso. I've never painted on a black canvas before, so this is a, a complete first. Uh, caught on video. Let's see what happens here. So black gesso, then let that dry, then a very thin layer of liquid clear per instruction of the video, and then a thin thin layer of midnight black mixed with a little bit of blue on top of that and that's where I'm at and he's dipping a two inch brush into white and remember the disclaimer of all these videos is I can't paint uh, or I can't draw so much as a stick figure so it's a great example of if, even if you can't draw you can still do Bob Ross's style so let's see what happens here so we're taking this two inch brush into white let's go right up here have to make a decision right off. If it's going to be a night scene, then we're going to have a little moon up here. So you have to decide where that's going to be because that's going to be the lightest spot so in your sky. And we'll just start making little crisscross strokes like so. Start in that light area and blend outward. And always blend outward, outward, outward. There. I want to get darker and darker and darker as we move away from that light area. See how it's picking up that color underneath though, and all these beautiful things happen. As I've mentioned in several other series before, if you're painting with a family or friends and you want to do one of these black canvases with black gesso on it, put the color on before you start doing your demonstration for you. Cool sky so far, isn't it? So far, I'm liking this. We'll see where we go next. Whoa. It does on a white canvas, so don't overdo. Be careful. 
Be careful. It'll just jump right up here and eat up your whole world. There we are. A little bit right in here. Decide where you think the light would strike on these clouds and drop them in. Little streaks here and there. All kinds of little beautiful things happening. Just follow your imagination. There. Maybe. Maybe right into here. Little lights under here. Highlights. He's got the round brush into the same dark paint. Maybe there's a 
big tree in our world. I had a round brush here. Go right back into that dark color. house in the background. That's super simple to care. Maybe there's, there's a light on the window. Too, a little yellow. A cat yellow. A little window in there. Too. That one over here. Alright, hang on a second. liner brush though because I'm not as good as he is. So I'm gonna make it look like there's a couple of windows with some light on inside.
there. And then what we'll do is we'll take the white He's in a little snow back here, but then it comes around. Well, that looks like a little path. It's kind of neat looking. But then once it's out here, I want to go a little bit more straight up white so that I brighten this up a little. Trying not to be just a mud mixer here, but I have too much paint to go right over that the way he's going right over it. So I'll remove that. And that'll let me just redefine my little tree here. Just blend it. Just blend it out. Maybe. Maybe. 
maybe, maybe. We get a little liquid white. Here, we'll take some of that dark sienna. Maybe a little, a little touch of the crimson in there. Something like that. I don't know, I think I'm, I'm done with this. I think I like it. <laughs>